To add a confetti effect over your stream, you first need a video file with a confetti in a transparent background. We will be using this one that I made myself in After Effects and the download link for it should be in the description. The size of this file is pretty big, around 3 GB but that is because it is harder to compress a transparent background file. So once you download it, let's move on to OBS Studio. I am going to press F11 to go to full screen mode just to make it easier for me but it is not necessary to follow this step. Find out the scene over which you need the confetti. For me, it is going to be the Twitch game capture that I spend the most time in so that is where I need the confetti over. What I am going to do now is right click on it, click on duplicate and we are going to name it confetti scene but you can name it whatever you want. I am going to move it above to all the other scenes that I normally use just to make it easier for me. So. Once inside the confetti screen, uh, confetti scene, we need to click on this add source icon or the plus icon over there at the bottom of sources. Click on it, go to media source and then type confetti. Again, you can type whatever you want. We're going to stick with the confetti. And once here, let's browse and then select the downloaded, uh, selected, select the file that we just downloaded. And once done, we're going to click on OK and we're going to have to resize it a little bit. Okay, that should be good enough. Make sure the confetti is on top of the sources list and so, so it doesn't get blocked by any other sources below it. And that is it. Now, let's talk about some potential issues you might have to deal with. Number one would be the audio. When I click on the scene, you can see that the video plays but the audio associated with it does not. First thing to know is the audio mixer says the audio is actually playing and viewers of your stream will be able to hear it as well but you as a streamer will not be able to. To fix this, click on the triple dot icon over here below the confetti, go to advanced audio properties and by the confetti name, click go to audio monitoring, click on monitor only and that is it. Now, when we give it a go, the audio plays. That should be good enough. The second thing you might notice is when I switch between scenes, there is this swipe animation that happens. And to remove it, either change this anim scene transition from swipe to cut or right click on uh, Twitch game capture transition override and make it as cut. Do the same thing for the confetti as well. And now it should be seamless. If you don't have access to a second PC or a stream deck, you can simply make this transition easier by going to settings, hotkeys, looking for confetti or whatever you named it and in the switch to scene category, select your hotkey as F8 or whatever you feel like. And do the same thing for uh, Twitch game capture, but this time around you need to select something else that isn't the same key that you use for confetti. We're going to select F7 and then click on apply. And now while I'm in game, even when I'm in game, all I have to do is press F8 and there we go. And that is all folks. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps you out massively and if you are interested, you can follow me on twitch.tv to enable notifications so you can catch me live stream a variety of games, the link to which is in the description. Thank you.